lipstick. Hey, I haven't filmed in a little while. I haven't brushed my teeth for the day yet, but let's just do a little bit of a get ready with me. I have fake tan on and it's really patchy. I hate it. I use the Bondi Sands. Um, I mean, I guess let's just get into it. I use the pure like foam from Bondi Sands that everyone on TikTok was like, oh my fucking God, it doesn't transfer. It looks amazing. You don't need to wash it off. It's so bad. <sighs> this is why I'm over the TikTok viral trend because everything I've tried so far has been like, like there's a lot of risk involved. And I'm sick of buying things that I hate and I can't use. So I won't be doing that again. Yeah, it's so patchy. It's literally sticky. It's fucking disgusting. I hate it. Anyways, I want to do a black lipstick today. As you can see, I have red underneath my hair now instead of blonde. And I just, um, I'm just having a lot of fun experimenting with that. So let's just get this hair out of the way, shall we? Oops. I already have like my hair kind of styled, so let me just black a damn sociopath. I don't think I'm gonna be using anything like too exciting in this video. It's just gonna be me like using a bunch of products that I'm trying to use up. And just like I just wanna get ready. Sometimes I dread this is gonna sound really bad, but sometimes I dread getting like filming YouTube videos because like I tell myself oh, I'm gonna use like all of this trendy stuff so that the YouTube algorithm loves me, but sometimes It just gets old really fast. Okay for primer. I'm gonna use my Laneige glowy makeup serum I was so excited when I ordered this, but I really haven't used it. I don't know why I think I've just been I've been more oily and greasy lately, so I haven't been in love with looking super, super dewy. But I really like this primer with the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint because, I mean, I can put the video up in the cards, but um, I have talked about the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint before and I just don't like how it accentuates any texture and like, honestly, it's just not that great. Well overhyped. But I like those two together because it kind of gives it a little bit of extra moisture. I also need to match my tan. So maybe I'll use my Huda Tan Tour. But before any of that, a little bit of Trini London Miracle Blur. Just to, once again, help the Hint Hint Skin Tint not look like shit. I've actually found recently, right? Oh my God, I just realized I have, oh my God, maybe I should use that today. Whoa, I have realized a lot of, um, I don't know if I'm just getting older, but I'm just not into using like a shit ton of makeup anymore. And obviously like I, I feel like makeup in general as a society, we've moved away from like really heavy makeup. And I feel like, I don't know if it's, that like I'm just leaning more towards natural makeup or if I'm getting older and I just don't like the way heavy makeup looks on me but um I've been finding a lot of things that are like trending on TikTok they just it's kind of like more is more and why I went on this tangent there is a reason so the Morphe Heat and Skin Tint I like to kind of do a really light base and slowly build it up but I find the way that I found this product to work best is using more. It sounds really weird, but like I find the more you use, the more it kind of like, it looks better. It kind of doesn't look patchy because, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but like the, I found the same thing with the Flower Beauty Illusion, what? Light Illusion Concealer. I don't like it and I find that it just looks weird. I find whenever I blend it out, like it literally, it goes so crepey and gross. And like my skin kind of like absorbs all the moisture out of it. So then it just goes really dry and cracky. But I find when I like put a lot on, it works smoother and better. So I found that with the Morphe Heat Heat Skin Tint. I found that with the Light Illusion. And the other thing I found it with is the Refi Brow Products. <sighs> I'm not completely disappointed, but I find that 
the way that I apply them or the way that I'm used to applying brow products, it just doesn't work out. Like I got the whole set, so I got the brow pomade and the pencil and then the like the wax. But I find whenever I try to like make it look natural and kind of like comb it through, it just goes flaky, it looks gross. The pomade, I don't think I'm a fan of the formula just in general. I just find it just looks like shit um, and I can't blend it out, which annoys me. So I find that those products, pomade, and then the, no, what is this called? What do they call this? The sculpt and the pomade. Like, I just can't make it look natural. Like, it only looks good if I have, like, the biggest, blockiest brows. I like the pencil. These two together, the pencil and the sculpt, they work well together because I can do just the sculpt, add a little bit of pencil, keep it more on, like, the soft, fluffy side rather than, like, the full-on brow. They work well together, but I don't know. I was just like, what the fuck? By looking at the Instagram, you're like, oh, wow, a natural fluffy brow. Like, it's not laminated to the fucking heavens, you know? But I really struggle to create a natural looking brow with this. So, I mean, I'm going to probably use the pencil and the sculpt today. I hate the pomade. I just hate it. You have to use so much for it to look good. And I'm just not into, like, heavy brows, you know? I don't know. I'm going to try and use it up, of course. But I just don't think it looks amazing. And yeah, so Morphe Heat and Skin Tint looks good when I've got a lot of it on. And that's like not usually the look that I go for. That was a tangent. I love that I was literally like not in the mood to film today. And I was like, oh, just do it. And then as soon as I turn on the camera, I just don't shut up. Actually, I'm not going to use my Huda Tantor. I'm going to use my Candy Paint from Half Caked. I'm loving this fucking brand at the moment. But we'll do that later. Usually I like the way the brow sculpt looks pre-foundation but i didn't really think that through so we're just gonna do it afterwards i also don't like the comb that comes with it like i was so excited for this product but i don't know why i'm disappointed like maybe i'm just a negative nancy but i don't like the shape like obviously this side gives you a fluffy look so like you can't really like flatten with that side this is the side that you're supposed to flatten with but the curve just doesn't work for me like my eyebrows it just like is so awkward to use it's just really weird to me that they've put it on an angle because like if I'm to comb through my brows I want to go like this but like half the time when I do it because it's got that divot it doesn't like it doesn't flatten my brows and like it's just weird to use on that angle so I don't I don't even use that comb and like that's really disappointing um so I'm just gonna go in and comb it and then I'm just gonna use my finger to flatten it because it works better. This product reminds me so much of the Surratt brow pomade that I did. I did like a little battle of the brows with the Surratt brow pomade. I need this mirror closer because I can't see what I'm doing. And the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Oh yeah, I should have done this. Fuck. <laughs> I should have done this before foundation. Yeah, the formula is very similar to the Surratt. It's like that creamy pomade formula, but it just has a little bit of a better hold. The Surratt one's not super good at holding. It really doesn't make your brows crunchy, so it's like not... I haven't found it to like fall throughout the day, but they don't feel... Like I was worried because it doesn't feel like it's going to last when you first apply it. But I don't. I haven't noticed that it's fallen throughout the day the few times that I have used it, which is great. I hate it when I'm disappointed by products, but you know, it happens because I've got different preferences. Some people might love the way this looks and the pomade. I think I'm just not a pomade person, to be honest. I've always just been a fan of a good old pencil. Definitely recommend putting it on before foundation. Otherwise, you'll get crusty foundation in your brows. In my dream world, <laughs> I wish that um, the Surratt Brow Pomade and this product could come together and have a baby. I like the Surratt formula because I don't have to go in and kind of like comb out the chunks. Like They're both like that creamy product, but when you've got pomades like this, sometimes they leave like white balls. <laughs> like white little crusties in your eyebrows and the Surratt brow 
pomade doesn't do that. I'm calling it a pomade because that's what they call it, but it's like a creamy brow gel. Whatever. That's the best I can do. The brow pencil though, amazing. And I want to show you how micro it is because like we've seen micro pencils, but like this is a micro pencil. Let me show you it next to the NYX micro brow. So it's like extra bitty. No, focus on that. Look how extra bitty it is. And it is like super, super creamy formula. I think she designed it obviously to work well over a pomade, which sometimes it can be hard to get a pencil to show. So they do have like a little label on the packaging saying, you know, do not twist up more than two millimeters. Yeah, millimeters. Because it's so creamy, it can break. So I don't know. I love the pencil. It's just so easy. And you know, it could just be that I'm a fucking pencil person and that's why I don't like the pomade but I just find the pomade just look so cakey and heavy and ewies. Oh, I don't know I'm just not I'm not loving these products and I'm really mad about it fuck me when I look at the products on the Instagram everyone's brows like look natural and fluffy and beautiful but I think the thing for me is they don't look like that in person like I think that Jess Hunt just has beautiful brows, so the product just looks amazing in her brows. But like when I'm using it, my brows look cakey. Like I have, it looks like I have product in it. Cause I do, but I don't love that look. And I expected that from it. So I think that I just have, I just expected a different finish. Like this is, this bra turned out good, but it looks like I've got product in it. And then when I go to brush it out and fluff it through, this happens. It gets pilly and gross and it pisses me off, quite frankly, because I don't know, I wouldn't say it's false advertising, but like, I think that no matter what Jess Hunt put in her eyebrows, it'd look good. So it's not necessarily the product that is giving her that look. Comment any recommendations and let me know if I'm doing something wrong here. That's not really what I want my brows to look like. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'll fix my brows and we'll move on. <laughs> okay, brows are cakey. Let's move on. Eyeballs! I wanna do, okay, I haven't done a cut crease situation in a long time. And I kind of wanna do a really neutral cut crease because obviously I wanna do a black lip and black lips are similar to red lips where they kind of make everything look a bit fucked. Well, <laughs> that sounds so bad. Once you put the black lip on, everything looks a little bit different and like you might have to go in with more bronzer and stuff. So I want to keep the eyes natural, but I want to do like a cut crease. I used to do this all the time and I think it's going to pair really well. So I'm going to take this beautiful palette from Beauty Bay. Isn't it just so sexy? Like these matte nude colors. <gasps> Sexy. But first we need to prime these eyelids. I'm gonna use, I wanna use something sheer. So we're gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I also started saying um, the word sexy, ironically, and now it's not ironic. <laughs> and everyone gets so uncomfortable when I say it. I'll be like, oh my God, that's sexy. That's pretty sexy. These eyeshadows are sexy. I think I'm gonna take this shade here and then blend it out with this shade. I don't wanna go too dark. Um, and I didn't set my base, so that's a thing. The shade, by the way, is called Cinnamon, and this is the nude matte palette. And I just love it. It's sexy. And then taking Bare Necessity and kind of just blending over that messily. You can be pretty messy when you're gonna be cutting the crease like I am because because you can. Might take a little bit of that warmer brown cord throwback to add a little bit more depth. And then we're gonna cut the crease. My favorite product to use to cut the crease is the concealer from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Undercover Concealer. This stuff is like the best for cut creases because it kind of sets when you want it to set. Like it's a really quick setting concealer, but it does a really good job. So yeah, I guess we're just going for it. 
Y'all know how to do cut creases, right? I feel like I do my cut creases really weird. But this is just how I have made it work for me. I need a little blender brush. Okay, so little did you know, I just went and had a bowl of spaghetti and a banana because I was a bit hangry and I was giving off some bad vibes, so. I ate food and now I feel better. So, um, this is my eyes. Now we can move on to the face. Okay, I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use my half caked candy paints and a little bit of my Luma highlighter. But before that, my favorite concealer, I had to get another shade because one of mine was a little bit too dark. So I have 2.6 and 2.4. I think I can use 2.6 today because I'm tan. Yeah. This concealer, honestly, I feel like people didn't talk about it enough. Like I remember when it first came out and everyone was like, whoa, velvet matte. This is a velvet matte concealer from <gasps> Makeup Forever, by the way. But I feel like when it was released, nobody was really into matte concealers so i don't know it launched and everyone was like okay cool and then never thought about it again the finish reminds me of the nars matte creamy concealer but it just stays better and it's not as it's not as like greasy i found that nars one to be a little bit greasy on me it didn't really stay it just blurs so beautifully and i'm obsessed with it and as you can see like a little bit goes a long way fuck my eyebrows look shit bronzer this is the i've already said it like 50 times candy paint from half caked in cubby this stuff is so delicious and the packaging is just adorable i'm obsessed i haven't tried the danessa myrick's um contour balms but i imagine that this the formula is really similar to this this is super like balmy it's not like a like, I feel like the Huda Beauty Tantor, if you use that, it's like a cream. This is definitely, like, more of a balm. And it's just gorge. It's just gorgina. Do people, do people still say that? It kind of gives me the ick, that word. Also, this is a newer brush from Real Techniques. The 405, what are you? Instapop. Actually, no. I think they've had the Instapop cheek brushes for a while. I think these ones are the new ones. Yeah, the light layer range. Love it. They kind of just like never miss. Every time they bring something out, it just is perfection. Now for this beauty. This is the same brand, so half caked in their cheek and lip tint in Club Paradise. I think I already knew of these products and like I had my eye on them, but then um, I think her name's Gabriella, Gabrielle on Instagram. She was like using this color in particular on her Instagram stories. And I was like, okay, I'm placing the order. Like, it's just, I don't know how to describe it, but these, like, nude peach shades that just, like, complement any eye look. It, like, borderline doesn't look like anything spectacular on the skin, but, like, it does so much. Like, so subtle, but, I don't know, it just completely transforms a makeup look. It's beautiful, which the other, the only other one that does that for me is the Tower 28 magic hour and let me see i think the magic hour is a little bit yeah magic hour is a little bit more pink this is a little bit more peach for medium skin tones like these are these shades just like are so complimentary 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 so love that and i'm probably gonna go over afterwards as well so after i powder because yeah a good blush works great over powder and just before I set, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Luma blush. No, my Luma cream highlight in Cashmere Casper. I just haven't used it in so long and I miss them. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna use like this little sample that I got when I ordered my makeup forever concealer. But it's low key, it makes me nervous because these like pure white translucent powders always stress me out. So I might not use it. I might not use it under my eyes because sometimes I find they darken 
the concealer under my eyes so I'm just going to use a little bit of like banana powder under there so I can be um, really yellow and then I'm going to use the makeup for everyone everywhere else mmm why does it smell so good mmm it smells tropical like a piña colata okay that's not so horrible but when they're like these talky things, like they just go in your mouth. It's inevitable. I lost my mind. I spent the night crying on the floor in my bedroom. Let's do a little bit of contour. I feel like I haven't contoured in ages. Oh my God. And let's just use Makeup Forever while we're on a Makeup Forever kick. Okay. We're looking good. Except for the eyebrows. <sighs> but I'm too fragile to talk about that. Um, a little bit of highlight. This is just a revolution one that I'm trying to use up. Get that bad boy onto my temples. And then maybe a little bit on the inner corner as well. Now Maybe, I think I'm gonna do the lip now. And I'm gonna use the Fenty Lip Paint Lip Stunner. Stunner Lip Paint in Uninvited. This Loki is not a great black lipstick. Like, she's actually very sheer. And I was gonna use the ColourPop Lip Liner in black, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use a black eyeliner because I kind of wanna get my pigment from this because this is relatively sheer for a black liquid lipstick so this is just a Maybelline eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna go ahead and line that oh my god I look like that bitch from Kim Possible that all the TikTok lesbians are in love with yay it's all over my teeth okay that actually looks really good I feel like with black lipstick I need you always need to put like some sort of nude to blend so I might just quickly do that like blend the pink parts of the lip into the black Okay, we're practically done with the look and I don't know why I'm so surprised that it looks good. Like I knew it would look good. But just a little tip, if you have a brow tint pen that you don't like, like I do, this is a Kevin Aquan brow tint. It literally like doesn't even show up. It's so sheer. Use it to fill in your hairline so you're not wasting product. I think this is the finished look. It looks really nice and my camera's about to die, but I don't know, it kind of pops off. I probably do need a little bit more bronzer, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but yeah, let me clean up my mascara smudges and we'll do a close up. Bye. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and ring the notification bell and comment down below um how to fix my eyebrows bye